In this video, you'll configure the iOS app you built with LifeRay screens to communicate with LifeRay Portal. Communication with the LifeRay installation is configured from a property list file called LifeRayServerContext.plist. You need to create this file in your app's Xcode project. In the new file wizard, select Resource, Property List, and then click Next. Name the file LifeRayServerContext.plist and click Create. This is just a plain XML file that can be edited as source code. In the tutorial, Preparing iOS Projects for LifeRay Screens, you can access a template for this file. Copy and paste it into the file you created. The first parameter to configure is your portal's address. You can copy this from your browser and paste it in here. You also need to specify your company ID. This is just your portal instance's ID. Last but certainly not least is the group ID. This is the ID of the site that your app exchanges data with. You can override this later if your app works with multiple sites. But what happens if you don't know what these IDs are? It's not a problem. To get your company ID, go to Portal Instances in the Configuration section of the Control Panel. The Company ID is listed in the Instance ID column. To find your Group ID, go to your site's Configuration section and select the Site Settings tab. The Group ID is in the Site ID text box. Now you're ready to use Screenlets in your iOS project.